first day working on my new application started just as always. I was walking dog on the morning, then made coffee and jump into the research. in the App Store for a while ago. I removed it, I don't know, a few years ago because it was completely outdated. It was built using Swift 2, maybe 3, don't even remember. User interface was quite simple. And now I'm thinking that I could rebuild my CrossFit timer and I would like to have Tabata and interval timing application in the App Store. So I started with App Store research to see if we have similar applications and yeah, just product validation. So <laughs> of course there are tons of similar applications in the App Store. I found that App Store basically is loaded with CrossFit applications and timer applications. If that would be just application idea by itself, that would be kind of clear no-go because uh, yeah, you need some unique ideas, but I think I have kind of unique approach. I would like to create working timer application which will work on lock screen with lock screen widgets and I would like to implement those dynamic island animations. Is it needed for exercise timer? I don't think so that it is necessary feature but that will be something to stand out and I will be able to reuse that. Even if this application will have zero downloads currently I would like to kind of test my framework for application kind of building and developing all that stuff that's one thing and timer widgets and uh, dynamic island notifications could be used in my other apps as well. My freediving application, my fasting uh, tracking application, those basically also are timers and I would like to have dynamic island support. And yeah, talking about time limitations, all that stuff, it's uh, half past uh, eight, I'm still on track, so I spend about one and, about one and a half hour on that research, so... I can even move a little bit for forward and take a look for design examples. Two thousand years later. Hey, quick interaction. Maybe you would like to subscribe to this channel because I will keep those videos coming. Subscribe button is next to the like button. And yeah, there is no contract or something. You can unsubscribe anytime. Okay, back to the work. the timer implemented that is kind of good news and bad news at the same time <laughs> that is kind of bare minimum mvp what i wanted to build basically i hard coded uh, that tab at the timer it is working now i need to add configuration all that stuff few more timers that i wanted to do arm up uh, and whatever was another name for those crossfit timers but yeah what is bad here I will need to start exercise <laughs> to test that uh, functionality. It's only Tuesday and we already have progress. It looks promising. The next day. Hey Strelkazo. Oh yeah, let me introduce a little bit what I'm working on. I'm basically rebuilding one of my applications. I had quite old uh, application. I released it in the App Store, I don't know in 2018 something like that i did crossfit and for me difficulties was in crossfit basically you have to count rounds basically you there are multiple timer times one of timer times types is basically you are doing as much uh, rounds as possible you are doing kind of round of exercise and basically until timer will end and you have to count those rounds and I had a hard, hard time to kind of remember <laughs> that number those, to count, basically. So I made application for that. And basically, yeah. Uh, and that was a very simple application. And I just uh, want to recreate it, but currently I will add Tabata and hit interval timer as well. 
And here I just found on Dribble some design examples, some inspiration, what I would like to kind of like use and I wrote down what I like in those design examples. This for example is this cool pop-up for settings. I like that one. In this one there is there are just some activity circles. I don't know if I will need them, but I like this idea, maybe I will steal it. And here, what I like here. Ah yeah, different kind of, not just circle for timer, but something like this one. Something a little bit different, but I like this one actually for break, you know, some kind of irregular shape. I don't know how it works, but I imagine that somehow kind of rotates and vibrates, something like that, you know, that could be cool to do something like that. And what here? Ah, yeah, startup screen. Basically, I will need startup screen to choose from between uh, timers. I, th I think this is cool when you show some kind of activity, when you exercise it. Uh, that kind of history implemented right here. That's kind of cool. And then, yeah, exercises, stuff like that. This one is way more simple, but also cool to work, you know, kind of timer A, timer B, timer C, just cards where you choose timer, maybe something like that, we'll see yeah, what I will do. Okay, here it is. Start is green, stop is red. Amazing, that works. Let's just commit all that stuff and run to the hills. Oh my gosh, so many changes. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Huge thing. I don't know, I don't see a reason to kind of add some meaningful comment here. I have two timers working, no design, almost no design <laughs> in the app, but two of the timers are working. Actually, I need just to add two more. I don't know, that will be some ready for test flight beta, I think, till the end of the week. If I am so far in the application that I have already two timers working, that is already kind of working MVP on day three, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. So on day three of working on this application, so there is very high chance that we will get this application in the App Store. Okay, that's enough. Uh, ranting. Good night, everyone. See you on the next one. Bye.